Jesus of Palestine, near Bash of thirty five. Israel was of Palestine, near Bash of thirty five. Israel was a spy, last time, near Bash of thirty five. Israel was of Palestine, near Bash of thirty five. Israel versus Palestine, episode 35. Israel, Palestine. Oh, Palestine, ready? Now I'm hate you. The other goes home a loser. Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downwards. You gotta be shitting me. Hey, listen to Derek Factory. Don't shit on no one. But uh, I do like to piss on my seat and uh, at my seat, too. Not really on it, so stay out of the way. <laughs> tell me, the game, that ain't rigged, is it? Of course not. Hey, how could anything professional? will be fake. <laughs> hey, there's too much money at stake for one thing. I mean, these guys got too much to lose. I mean, why is a guy going to take a dive for a few extra million when he could earn that over a number of years getting his brain turned to pulp? Be serious for a minute. The clock is counting down again. It's time for Derek to head to the locker room and celebrate in the shower. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bring a cooler full of beers and get ready to riot. This has been the tight end zone. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. I'm wearing a black dress on. And this is WCTR, proving that radio is better than TV. That's the show men with large guts love. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. Do you have any idea what I'm doing? Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy. Entertaining America. The deceit. This week on Entertaining America, Richard Guy. One man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a Venturist man, says he's slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All-America Drunk Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex. Wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Kiff Lum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to everyone. But first up, Stack the Dex, in which I... Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflam. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show, Kip Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death. Thank you, thank you. But many say your new film has gone too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. It's over, Tim! The war's over! It's never over! Do you see him wipe out millions of Cambodians and Exploder? Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most challenging role yet. We're here, Tim! A preschool for slow children? You're the new teacher, Tim! Special needs cop. It's the story of a psychotic ex-marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you tarts has been running Peruvian flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies. No suck, Tim. But soon he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You wanna see it? Hey, you got and shot yourself. Way to go. No, and you look at he was finally beginning to live a normal. Life. Then all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Yeah! What are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. Special needs cop. He had a lot to learn. This film cannot be rated. 
Wow, that's terrible. No wonder our studios are surrounded by protests. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is, frankly, laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, 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 I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something, a film that made a difference. But Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right, and I was there, and I should have killed them all. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. Okay, uh, uh, Jack, Jack, uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from the special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you going to do? The Reds lost, man. It's, it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this. The family killer. Put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun. Come on. It's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev? No, no. You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals. No. No. You said no. it. Put the gun down. I please. I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right. Please stop. Come on. They haven't shrunk. Touch them. No. Feel them. No. Come on. No. Do something. No. Touch them. Touch them or die. They're still big. Oh, God. They're huge. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mom. Easy. Mommy. Don't grab them like that. Oh, boy. I was kidding. What are you, a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, hey, hey. hey. You had me scared there for a minute. I, 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 I crapped myself. Take it easy. It's not even loaded. You just wonder what if. Oh, yeah. oh, Dex. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up. Come on. Damn it, his brain is leaking. Help! Oh, there's only one thing to do. I gotta defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. You have to hear about your problems. Hey, dude, that's show business, okay? It's about reality these days, not entertainment, okay? Because I gotta tell you, once you've flown first class, you know, it sucks to take the bus. Yeah, again. Explosion is hanging from the tree. This accident is really cool. WCTR. That's why I got all these addictions. Bring my next vegetarian guy. Hello? Uh, hey, it's me, Jonathan. I, I don't know a Jonathan. Yeah, that's the name they gave me at the orphanage after you put me up for adoption. How could you give me away? Bring the family together again. San Andreas Telephone. For those difficult conversations. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's the Wild Traveler. Next. Hello, I'm James Batiston, World Traveler, and this is the Wild Traveler. From Peru to San Andreas in eight days by balloon. Often while lounging around garden parties, we forget the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Some are even so dedicated to our happiness they carry products in balloons shoved inside them themselves to be a balloon floating mesmerizing we go to the phones yes we do I can't believe you actually recommended we go to Barbados on our honeymoon it was revolting there were poor people. I live in Vinewood to be away from poor people. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all-inclusive resorts where you can drink as much as you want, be around other people from San Andreas, and the only interaction you have with the locals is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the wild. Traveler. Oh, 
property. Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries. But you live here. America rules you, commie. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. Thanks. So sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcoholics. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting, making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once, and I was disgusted. Some people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent toilet anywhere. Or a good chicken wing. And the strippers? <laughs> Overcharged. Good Lord, you're Philistine. You should stay out of England. I hear there is a casino in Venturas that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Do you want culture? Do you want safety? It's your choice. Personally, I want irrigation of the colonic variety. But that's a whole different story. And it is early. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? No one. Come on. Call up. Anyone? <laughs> it wouldn't be like this in Peru, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows what a phone is and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery or the Glory Hole theme park. There, the Glory Holes aren't theme parks, I can tell you. It's violent and bloody and authentic. What are you scared of, you wimps? Give me a call. Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How could it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No. I'm in Burden Bluff. Loathsome place. I'd jump if I were you. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is from my diary in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who has been my guide and pleasure as well as travel. There is something very exotic about him. Avrinda. He could be a boy, but like many locals, in certain lights he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to me. Oh, wrong page. Here we are. Avrinda took me deep into jungle. And there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of adulthood. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase I used to play. No! Wrong page! Abrinda has left me. I'm broken. I thought I meant something. But it seems he would rather become a fisherman than follow me in an exotic life of degeneracy and narcotics as my houseboy. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's the page about watching the elephants mate? And it being really disturbing and making me slightly jealous for both parties. Hey! Has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Just last week I heard him saying government agents wanted to look at it. What a load of trash. Ah, we have a call, finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? We call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting for pythons in Africa? No, Canada. But what about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, cheap and it's plentiful. Uh, apart from the rent boys. Well, what about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about the political instability and the chance to eat insects? I don't want foreign. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, go to Hawaii. They still trade in beads there and ride planks rather than motorboats. Time for me to head south again. On the next show, we'll be discussing Amsterdam, Paradise Regained, Morocco, Scoochie Smoke. Until next time, travel safe. Ciao, Bella. I'm James Pedestin, and this has been The Wild Traveler. That was funny. This don't, is don't WCTR, tell me. committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we received a cease and desist. Let's head over to the newsroom. Leanne Forche, WCTR News, reporting what the morning memo tells us to. Pornography in preschool, the sickening shortage, and shiny compact discs turning your children into killers. 
plus the Epsilon Trap, a psychotic underground power-hungry cult running the government and Vinewood, or an idea whose time has come. The WCTR team spoke to one member. Whenever I'm in trouble, I talk to my invisible friends. When I was a kid, my mother told me to be good, or invisible people would kill me. I'm passing that terrifying living along to my children, like a virus. Also, police are investigating the murder of Liberty City crime family the Sindacos, whose bodies were found in a meat factory in Las Venturas. Could this be the start of a mafia war, or was it a sick game gone hideously wrong? Either way, America's beef producers say it will all blow over. Los Santos police officers Frank Tenpenny and Eddie Pulaski are being sought by government officials in order to stand trial for the murder of Officer Ralph Pendlebury. The pair, whom prosecutors claim have masterminded a huge criminal organization, have disappeared. LSPD spokespeople said they were undercover. Las Venturas was recently celebrating the opening of the Four Dragons Casino, a huge new pleasure palace with a Chinese feel, setting a new level of optimistic debauchery for the country. Richard reports from Ventura where the Four Dragons hosted the Child Actor Convention. What the fuck to get a free drink in this place? How do you stay 14 when the deal is showing 12, you moron? Yeah, hit me. Richard. Leanne, as you know, actors are a shallow and insecure lot, often uncomfortable with their sexuality. But what's worse are child actors, especially when they get together. Jimmy, from the canceled sitcom Just the Five of Us, was dragged out by police earlier today. This is bullshit! Hey, don't arrest my bitches! I am a star! It's just flowers! Just wish! Jimmy, I'm Richard Burns, WCTR News! What do you think of My Five Uncles, the show that replaced yours? What do you think, dumbass? That show sucks my ass! And why do you still look like a kid? I'm 51 years old! I just look like a kid! I'm gonna cock punch you! Ugh! Oh, how do you like that, you liberal media bastard? Richard Burns, WCTR News. Back to you, Leanne. I'm Leanne Forge, WCTR News. News. I wouldn't sleep if I were you. I'm gonna do my show. But the tight end zone is next. Brought to you by Lager Beer and Redwood Cigarettes. A game just isn't a game if you're not drunk and coffee. Get in your cab. Get out of my cab. I don't want washed up celebrities in my cab. Washed up? Dude, I'm doing a new show. See you in hell, buddy. There are aliens living in this tank. Aliens, and I've held them in my own hands. Everybody, go to the desert and beg their forgiveness. How do you know all this? I went to the camp. Believe what you want to believe, but ask yourself, why should I make this up? All right, this is the last little show. The station is called Integrity. Uh, I should Killing mention that we're... of codeine, morphine, and alcohol. Your coal will be history. How's your coal now? Who the hell are you? I'm your wife, fool. Soothe kills a cough fast. And for the kids to chesty cough, it's Soothe Junior, the medication. I'm going to take a quick break. This is the Laszlo Show on Integrity. I love to say that. I'm work for Valentine Tate. I don't exercise. I don't care. Oh, I pay top dollar for these incredible high-technology polyester.